Is 5X worth watching at the theaters? Definitely. And I would like to know if you feel that way. Lately, I don't know. It's not necessarily a great movie to go and see. By that, I mean it's not the most intriguing story ever. But, I mean, sometimes we just want to disconnect from everything, and that's okay with everything. You know, everybody's stuck in their jobs and their daily lives. And with everything going on in the world, sometimes you just want to disconnect. And certain movies, such as this one, will suit that purpose just perfectly. Now... Uh, I might get into spoilers here, so I just want to put that warning out. I'm not going to go over too many details within the movie. Uh, yeah, so yesterday I did go and watch it at the theaters. And I kind of expected the same from the past couple of movies. And I was not disappointed. And by that I mean... How can I say, I preferred like the first three movies of the series and then things just got bigger and bigger and over the top. If we can, you know, put it into certain words. Uh, now, <sighs> this movie, how does it par up with the rest? It's pretty much on par with the rest. There is a twist to this one compared to the others. Uh, I don't know if I want to get into that just now. So, let's not. Okay. So, what is the best part of this movie? I would have to say Jason Momoa. He is just him alone in this villain role. He does a great job, and it's obvious to everybody he is having a lot of fun with his role. And having said that, it's not, you know, of the caliber of, you know, how can I put other villains? Everybody refers to Heath Ledger in, uh, you know, The Dark Knight. Uh, no, it is not. It's not as serious or as a dark movie as that one was. But it's more along the lines of a great Bond, James Bond villain. And I was amazed. You know, villains, this is the way that villains need to be done in movies. And, you know, I think other movies... Could definitely, you know, use some pointers about, you know, watching this one. Now, it's a little bit, oh, rehashed. I mean, you know, um, it's always about the family and the family and the extended family that becomes family. And it is a really diverse cast. And I don't know where he finds the budget to pay all these actors. Uh, yeah. But, you know, look here. A very diverse cast. And this franchise has been going on for, what, over a decade? Two decades now, almost? Yeah, easily, you know. So, how, you know... More than two decades, you know? A quarter of a century? I'd have to Google when the first one came out. So, is the CGI and all the action and stuff... I do want to show a short clip here because when I was watching it, I kind of, you know, had this flashback of... You'll, you'll see what I mean here. So, let me see if I can set it up easily. Uh, just remove that one and put that one there. Yeah, you'll pr probably remember this. Okay, let's just hear it for a few seconds here. Chris, now Chris, these Fast and the Furious movies are just getting bigger and better. So when you sat down to write this installment, were there certain elements you wanted to include? I want the cars to drive fast and then some of them explode. Oh, that sounds so great. Now, I believe we have... <laughs> 
So, yeah, I mean, it is not the most inte intellectual movie out there, but it is over the top. A lot of cars driving fast and explosions, you know, it's, it's a lot of that. I just wished, you know, if I'm going to do an honest review and... My gripe with the movie would be that there's not enough real racing. And, I mean, we can do car stunts. And, unfortunately, the stunts are so over the top that it becomes CGI. And some things, I mean, stuff in movies is always impossible. But, clearly, if I were to try to, you know, take my vehicle over a couple of steps uh, at some point i'd have no wheels and no suspension left to it and yeah some of the stuff in this movie i mean no you know i just go back to the making of the dukes of hazards and how many stunt cars they had to survive the jumps and whatnot so we know that it's not real but at what point is over the top too much over the top, you know? I just wish that there were more, like, real racing, real car stunts. And, you know, back to more of the basics that we saw in the first three movies, maybe. I wouldn't mind. I don't mind all the over the top stuff towards the end of the movie. I mean... But this is just throughout the entire movie, stunt over, over the top stunt, explosions. There is no build up to it. You know, it's a lot of fun to watch and the story goes, you know, the plots, you know, unfold one after the other. Nothing feels really too forced. I mean, look at this cast. I mean, everybody needs, you know, their time on the screen. So, you know, you, the movie does go all over the place following all these. But the story does mesh together. And it works. It does work. It's simple. You know, really simple. You know, as a format, as a storytelling but I just, there are a couple of race scenes that I just wish that they went back to the basics. I mean, there is this one scene where they race, but it's just in a straight line. You don't see the cars and the curves and the drifts and all that stuff, which I was really hoping to see in this movie. But, yeah, I don't think that every cast member is going to make it out alive. Who knows? You know, in previous uh, releases of the franchise, people have died and have come back and whatnot. So, who knows exactly what's going to unfold? Because I can definitely tell you that our, there are going to be more movies in this franchise. And they've done a really good job. And they are keeping the momentum going. Unlike Marvel, that people are like, well, we have this superhero fatigue. No, I just think that you weren't able to come up with story and storylines that were not able to keep us interested in. Whereas... You know what you're getting when you go into a Fast and Furious or a Fast franchise movie. And they kept it to the basics, storytelling. I just wish that they would peel off a little bit of the CGI and find a way to put a little bit of drama back into it. You know, what I liked about the first three movies, it was more down to earth. I mean, Dom... In the first movie wasn't all that uh, he was like a bad guy turning well he was a bad guy he was a good guy doing bad things and he was kind of turned to the light side 
and there was a journey there and a little bit more drama a little bit more down to earth uh, a little bit more real substance to the characters i mean not to say that it's like one joke after another it's not there is a little bit of interaction between uh, the actors here, uh, you do see the bonds, uh, but the characters are very cartoonish, and we, even though they all have time to be on the screen and have good storylines, we don't get into every individual's struggle, and it's okay because they've already gone through a lot of that in the previous movies. It's just that it becomes really hard to uh, develop when you have such a great cast. Every single actor here, you can see, is absolutely, you know, an A-lister. All of them. And it's really nice to see such... Not to put it in the, the words of Dom, but it is a nice family that they built here. And so the story is good. It's not the greatest story. You, you're not going to be mind blown by this stuff. But it is a good movie. And hopefully it does good because we need a couple of these uh, better movies, I think. Mindless movies. Uh, that isn't trying to be preachy. I mean, this cast has been diverse since, you know, for over 20 years now. So, why try to change something? Or They never were preachy about it. And I think that's part of their success. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe, you know, if you want to see more of this, uh, these videos. I will try to keep them coming. I can't see every movie and all that stuff. I do try to stay down to earth and not necessarily exaggerate. I try to keep it real. So if you like that, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the movie, if you liked it. Uh, even if it's comments about me and this video, I'm interested in knowing every hearing you know debating stuff so hopefully i'll see you soon thank you everybody for watching uh whether it is on twitch youtube uh come and talk to me in discord the links are in my profile it's easy to find and i hope to see you in the next one thank you again so much